Hello everyone. Welcome to Data Logic with Shivam. In this video, we will go through the interview question which was asked in one of the software company that is EPM system. Total 20 question asked during the interview. 17 were theoretical and 2 were from DAX and 1 SQL question. For this video also, I have created PDF for theoretical question and we will cover some question which I think are important and for rest of the question, you can download this PDF. I will not cover all question in this video because the video will be very lengthy. So please refer PDF link in description box so you can go through all the question. I will first cover the theoretical question and then I will cover the DAX question. Before going ahead, I would request you guys to subscribe to this channel and like the videos. For you, it's just a like, but for me, it will give me great motivation to create such videos for you in future. So please subscribe to channel and like the videos. Also, please refer to my earlier videos for Power BI interview question before your next Power BI interview. I'm sure it will help you a lot and it will boost your confidence. So now let's start. So I will cover first the theoretical question. So these, I will cover only those questions which are marked in red. Rest I will not cover. So the first question was, what license do you have right now in your project? So as a Power BI developer, you will have Power BI Pro license. So you can say, yes, I am using Power BI Pro license. So the next question was, are you missing any feature that is in pre premium? So you can say that, yes, uh, we are missing some uh, features like we can consume report and dashboard in our organization portal and mobile app. Uh, premium feature enables data analysis and visualization with AI. It enables us uh, reusable data workflow, paginated report creation, and we can access Power BI report server and the latest embedded, embedded analytics capabilities with the premium capabilities. So that's where you can answer. Now the next question was, have you created any paginated report in the past? And tell me the use case where we can apply paginated report. So if you have worked on paginated report, then you can tell your experience. But if you haven't worked on it, then you can refer below answer. So you can say paginated report are designed for printing purpose or sharing the files in required format. It will display all the data in table format. If I will show you one of the example, so you can see here, this is the paginated report uh, which was created. So here you can see this, this is a printing kind of, a, I mean, you can print this report, right? As I said in my, in my answer. So what are the use case for this uh, invoice in the statement, which I, which I just shown you generating customer invoice or other transactional document that need to be printed or distributed in standardized format, financial report, right? Like balance sheet, income statement, cash flow statement, exporting to PDF. Uh, creating report that need to be exported to PDF with consistent layout and formatting for sharing. So there are many case, cases in a uh, real world scenario where supplier, for example, if you are dealing with supplier, they need the PDF, uh, they need the report into the PDF format. They need the supplier scorecard into the PDF format. So in that, in that uh, scenario as well, uh, paginated report will help. Now, the next question was on the Power BI app. So what, uh, what is the question? There is a Power BI app in Power BI service, which have five reports. Okay. There are two users from different department who will consume the app data. Now, because of confidentiality of data, the first person should only see the first two report and the second person should able to see only remaining last three reports. Then how you will configure this scenario while creating Power BI app. So in Power BI app, the, we have very good feature called as an audience. If you see here in my screen, uh, it is some blur because this is a Microsoft official website. So when, when you start creating the app, you, so it will start from the setup where you will provide your app name right and the and the app logo now and then you can provide 
and then you will provide the content which which reports you are going to include into the content and once it is done then you will uh, in next step you will able to provide the audience so this audience tab for example you created two audience like two person which we which we were discussing in our scenario we will create two audience and here from here you can hide the reports whichever you want to show whichever you want to hide from the audience one and whichever you want to show uh, from the audience one similarly you can do for other audience as well so this uh, so as i as i written here we can create multiple views in power bi apps in order to keep the report hide which are not supposed to see by others while creating an app after setup tab and content tab we can go to audience tab as just i show you there we can hide the report in this scenario we will create two new audience for first user and second user then we will hide the report which are not supposed to see by other okay now we will go to the next question have you ever tested how long the visual is taking so this question is very common in power bi interview question so you can say yes we have tested for use by using power bi performance analyzer then you can say how you can do it you can i mean you we have a option uh, into the view tab where we can click and then we can use the power bi analyzer and here i have showed the step by step guide how to set up the uh, performance analyzer or how to run the performance analyzer and how to get the performance of the visual so you can go through these step now the question now the next question is if i don't have any option i only need to use import mode then what do you think what will be what will optimize my report so we can uh, use the i mean in data modeling we can properly design your data model uh, with relationship hierarchies calculated column to reduce the complexity we can remove unnecessary columns uh, we can clean our data like removing null duplicates and irrelevant column we can use query folding uh, whenever or wherever it is possible uh, we can filter the data early we can filter the data in our we can, let's say in data source itself so that uh, whatever the data will come we will have the filtered data or else we will uh, filter and transform the data into our uh, transformation uh, when when we are doing the transformation we can use pre aggregated data we can create some views on our back backend table which uh, which are pre aggregated so that once we import those table uh, that will not impact our model uh, in case of import mode uh, we can limit our visuals like avoiding creating too many visuals on a single page and then uh, uh, each visuals require calculation and can uh, impact the performance so that is why we can uh, limit the visuals so we can limit the visuals avoiding uh, creating too many visuals on a single page because each visual requires calculation and can impact the performance so these are the theoretical question which i want to cover you can refer all of the these question which was asked during the interview from this pdf and the pdf link will be in the description box now moving ahead with the dex question so uh, interviewer has given this three four pro problems and what he what he said that write the output of below measures so we need to provide the output of each and every problems okay so the table which he has is uh, color and sales we have three color red green blue uh, red is 50 green is 30 and blue is 20 now if i put the table here let's take the problem number 1 so i have already created this test measure where i have written down all of the problems so we will go each and every problem by problem and check the result okay so our first problem is calculate some test sales and then test color will be red so if i will filter the test color will be red so what will be the sales is 50 right so let's check using our measure so i'll ch keep the problem one first uh, uh, uncommented and then i'll return this this problem number one and then i'll add one visual here to check the result i'll put here 
now i'll put my measure here so you can see our first result is 50 now the problem number second so what is the problem number second is calculate some test sales all selected test and test color is equals to red now this problem will give the error the reason why it will give the error is because of uh, this argument so in all selected we cannot provide any filter condition so that is why it will give the error into this problem let's check i'll go to test and i'll uncomment this one so we can come we can comment control k c and we can uncomment control k u okay now problem 2 and then I'll hit enter. Now see here it is giving multiple argument are not allowed in all selected function when the first argument is a table reference right. So this is this will give error and we can check in our visual as well if you see here it is giving the error. Now the third problem the third problem is calculate some test sale keep filter test color red so once so it will it will keep the filter i mean it will apply the filter red and some equals to uh, uh, some uh, some 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 of the sales so it will give me the 50 value so let's check we will go to this uh, measure and i will un i will comment with control k control kc and I will and I will comment with control KC and then I will uncomment with control KU and then I'll here use problem 3 variable and hit enter. Now you can see the output is 50. Okay. Now let's see the problem number fourth. Now here as well the interviewer were trying to confuse you. So first, so what he has written, what he has given is calculate. Then under that calculate, the where we provide the expression, it provided again the next calculate and in the filter condition, it provide the filter. Now here as well, first, first it will calculate the inner calculate function. So it will provide the 50, but when it will go out here, in all selected it is again providing the filter which is not allowed right which will give error so that is why this problem will also give error we will check in our scenario I'll click here test and then I'll comment this line problem number 3 and then I'll uncomment this problem number 4 and here I'll use problem number 4 variable and then hit enter. Now here you can see there this this is giving again a similar error where we are where we were having in problem number 2 as well. The all selection function when the first argument is a table reference. So this will also give the error. If you see here in the uh, in the this, uh, in the card visual it is giving the error right so that is how uh, interview tr interviewer trying nowadays to uh, to trick you in interview questions uh, index now the second question was assume you have products and sale table and write a dex formula to rank the product by highest to lowest sales so now if you see here i'll show you the first data so we have product table 1 2 3 4 5 product product ABCD and then we have the sales according to the product ID and sales amount now we want to create a ranking from ranking of a product from highest to lowest so I have already created this DAX if you see here so I have already created the rank function here rank measure or DAX so I am using rank x function here. I am using all product, all function 
is because I want the rank across all of the product then I am using calculate function uh, calculate function with sum of sales then then I am using all except function product product name to remove all of the filter except product name then I am using uh, DSC for descending the rank uh, providing the order of rank in descending order and then I am using dense uh, to avoiding all the gaps between the ranks I'll hit enter and I'll create a table here I'll remove this visual I'll create a table here new table I'll put the product name sales amount and then sales by highest now I'll short this column with one to high and you can see the highest highest sale product is product C then product E product B product A product D the first two three four five six uh, so, sorry one two three four five the rank it is providing so this is how you can provide the answers in your next power bi interview question hope you like this video let me reiterate again you can find out the link of the PDF PDF from description box also one more one more request so when you download the PDF from the top mate if you can give me two minutes to give testimonials it will be great help for me so thank you guys again see you in next video